Hello guys! Welcome back to Jake's Diaries. It's been a long time since I last created a vlog and I'm so happy to be back again. I know you missed my vlogs but I really missed you more. So without further ado, let's do this! For today's video, we will be talking about how does it mean being a citizen of the world. It is an interesting topic to talk about. First of all, let me search the web about the concept of being a citizen of the world. Let us ask Mr. Google. Hey Google, how does it mean being a citizen of the world? According to Oxfam GB, a global citizen is someone who is aware of and understands the wider world and their place in it. They take an active role in their community and work with others to make our planet more peaceful, sustainable, and fairer. Okay, I searched for how does it mean being a citizen of the world, but the results are about being a global citizen, maybe because they are just the same. That definition from Oxfam.org.uk gave me a hint on how I'm going to explain this topic. Wait, do I really need to explain everything? Like, literally? Yes, of course. This is your final examination in your contemporary world subject, remember? Yeah, right. I almost forgot. I thought it is just a typical vlog. Before you can say that you are a citizen of the world, first, you need to accept that you are a part of the world and you are aware of your duties and responsibilities. So that's the first step. Know yourself. Most of us are very subjective to other person. The way they dress, they talk, their mannerism, they could already conclude on a person without even knowing who they really are. Before focusing your attention to others, we should do it on ourselves first. We should know our strengths and weaknesses and what we want to be, our goals in life. With a better understanding of ourselves, we are now ready for the second step. Now that you already know your purpose in this world, then you're ready to make your first move, to do something that will create a big impact on your community. Your dedication is the key. Because you already know your strengths, you can easily formulate something that can make you feel happy while doing the favor of providing something helpful to others at the same time. Because being a global citizen, we should not only focus on the development of ourselves, but the whole wide world. Doing it in your community setting is a great start. If you really like what you are doing, nothing can stop you from pursuing it. It might almost sound impossible considering your age, financial resources, lack of voice, but you can always find ways if you really love what you are doing. Jessa Garibay, 28, and Karina May Reyes Antonio, 33, for this pair, conservation can only be done through immersing oneself in the community. In conservation work, it will always be a winning feeling when people are involved not because they feel obliged to, but because they see that they have key roles to play in the stewardship of the land and the species that thrive in it. They are using their strengths to trigger community development in their own unique way. When you have already established your presence in the community, you may start expanding your reach and connections so that you could inspire and help more people until you conquer the global community. We should also know that we could not do it alone. We can do it all together with the support of each other. Let us remember that alone we can do little. But together, we can do so much better. Now, let me wrap this all up. Everyone should be a global citizen because we live in an interdependent and interconnected world. Everyone must be aware and must be respectful and has to embrace the concept of diversity. Since we are a part of the world, we have the responsibility to make our world better. 